What's going on guys? It is Fit Leaving Back and today this is going to be part two of the uh, toy hauler conversion from a uh, cargo trailer. So basically today I'm just going to go over the general build of, uh, of how I want everything. This is the basic. This is pretty much all I'm doing with framing. The rest of it is you know building like building shelves here. This is going to be under sink area, refrigerator, and this will be another little storage box, the uh, meter right there. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, I got it all framed up. I finally got the uh, the top on it right there. That took a long time where this is a curved front, so uh, it took a, quite a bit of time. I'm using some really thin plywood. I think. I don't think it's half inch. I can't quite remember what it is, but it's pretty cheap stuff and it's really lightweight too. Uh, another thing I got done is the upper cabinet area, as you can see. I just uh, put two six by nines in, and I have it wired to a little eBay amplifier I got. As you can see, it's not bad. It's cheap. Um, these two open spots are going to be, uh, uh, draw well not drawers, uh, doors you open and you're going to have basic stuff up there like as you can see, like that's a paint can sitting. So there's quite a bit of room up there. Maybe food, you know, paper towels, stuff like that. Um, I didn't arch it with the roof. I kind of left it flat like that. That's kind of what I planned on doing. Uh, another thing I've done is... I picked up this insulation at Lowe's, $8 a sheet. It's only half inch thick, but it's gonna basically take three sheets to do this. As you can see, one sheet did the first two like uh, frame spacings. Then I got two more here, then here and there. And that'll get that done wrapped up. I've noticed even with that little bit right there, it. Uh, it actually kept the uh, place a little bit hotter last night when I got the, the little space heater on. So as you can see from the corners, I just cut it. And I mean, this stuff folds. It's not super thick, but as you can see, it folds really well. So that's perfect. It's, uh, it's a hell of a lot better than, you know, bare metal, as you can see. Uh, Another thing I've done to it is we dropped all the Romex wires and they're all being painted the same color as the walls. So, got one more coat to put on those. I'm going to put those up zip time and organize them. Then uh, the rest of the insulation will go up so I don't have to mess around trying to feed the zip ties in behind it all, as you can see. Pretty sure we're going to paint this uh, stuff here. We did a little... Uh, Test sample of it last night here. Paint a little bit and seems to be pretty good. You know, that's like a really, I mean, if you really scrape it hard, kind of peels, but I don't plan on rubbing shit against the ceiling, but it'll make it look a lot better than the aluminum look as it is. So. Yeah, get a little close up of this stuff. It's a six by nine Rockville. Um, little cheap eBay amplifier. These are cutouts. Everything's really rough right now. It just as you can see. It's, uh, oh, I got I got a lot of detail to do, but this piece here basically took me about ten minutes, and I just hurried up, threw, thrown it up for this video. It's uh, it's actually really solid. I got up here and laid on the cabinet the other night and then held me and didn't even budge so probably put at least 200 pounds up here it's really well anchored a little inside shot two, but what I did to mount this is I got two by fours screwed them through the wall to a stud and then basically the plywood, I shot it up through the bottom. Same thing. And then for all back in here. Uh, 
I'm not going to mess with insulating this. It's kind of a weird, it, it rounds up and then it kind of rounds down. So I don't know, it'll be blocked off by the cabinets mostly. But yeah, uh, it's a little bit more cleaned up than last time for part one video. At least I got some of the stuff out of the floor. But yeah, it's uh, hard to keep stuff clean whenever you're working on it like this. But yeah, we got a lot of a lot more of the walls painted, as you can see. Got the uh, finally got the switch in. This is just pre-wired for my outside light whenever it comes in, and I'll throw my switch in there. Finally got the center light in. Yeah, most everything's uh, got the first coat on it except for down here. That'll be uh, painted soon. Yeah, guys, if you liked the video, don't forget to like and uh, subscribe because I'm going to have probably about 10 parts to this. A lot of stuff to do in here. Anyways, y'all, have a good day.